Hey, it's Deb in my main gardens. In my apple tree. Oh, I know, I am so excited about this tree. I can't even tell you. And I thought I would just talk to you about what I've learned growing apple trees because I am new at this and I am still learning. And um, maybe my lessons can help you if you decide to grow apple or fruit trees in your garden. And I highly recommend you do because look, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. It's a little background and you can see the side of our house back there. Um, my husband and I planted five trees, three one year about four years ago. Yeah, and the other two three years ago. So we have three Cortlands and two Honeycrisp. I'm in the Honeycrisp right now. And a few things I've learned, first and foremost, purchase your apple trees from somebody who knows your stuff. If you don't know your stuff about this stuff, find somebody who knows their stuff about this stuff. It came out really well. So go to a landscape center, go to a garden center, where there's somebody you can talk to who can help you find the right variety of fruit tree for your location. They'll also help you determine how many trees you need because oftentimes you need more than one for pollination reasons. And what tree doesn't like to have a friend in the garden? right? Um, you also want to think about size of tree. These are semi-dwarf trees because we didn't want them to get too, too huge. So that's another factor. So find somebody who can help you if you've never grown trees before, uh, fruit trees. The other thing is as you're growing this tree and you're living together, problems will arise. It happens in every relationship. So you want to be able to go back to your garden center and say, hey, um, happening here and should I be worried about it? Hey, who's eating my leaf and how do I get rid of them? And they will help you. All right. So that's probably the most important tip. The second tip is as your tree is um, growing and starts bearing fruit, you want to do what's called thinning, meaning you want to take the fruit off. Not all of it, but um, I remove probably about half the fruit from this tree. And I look for fruit that just isn't developing well, doesn't look healthy, maybe it's a little soft and mushy. Or if you have a branch like this, which is, this is still a young tree. Right now I've got two apples left. There were more on this branch and I removed them because I didn't want the branch to get so heavy that it would break. So, you know, during the growing season, uh, July, August is when I do most of the thinning, but even now in September when it's really time to harvest these, I'm still looking for apples. Um, if they have a little rot in them or they're not looking good or they're just not developing, I'll pull them off the tree. What that does also is it allows your apple to focus its energy in all of the right places. So you end up with some beauties like this. It also preserve some of the energy in the tree so it can focus on growing and root establishment. That's important. You know, the other tip is once your apples are ripe, pick them. Don't let them linger on the tree too, too, too late in the season. Uh, because like the rest of us, this tree is starting to think about winter's coming and it needs to prepare. Um, so as you remove those apples, uh, you expose the ends of the branches and where the buds are, and that helps them harden up to prepare for the winter. Um, so if you thin your apples to reserve some of the reserve or preserve, whichever you like, some of the energy, um, you harvest the fruit without waiting too long into the season, chances are that this tree will bear fruit again for you next year chances are it won't. And that's called biennial fruit production. And we have found that with five trees that they take turns. So last year, this tree did not produce a ton of fruit. The, the center tree produced a lot of fruit. That was our big producer last year. This year, the center tree is like, guys, I'm out. I worked really hard last year, so I'm going to take a year off and focus on me. Um, good lesson for the rest of us. And that tree has, that tree has grown a lot this year. The branches have grown, foliage looks great, the trunk has grown. So it'll be interesting to see if this tree that's produced a ton of fruit for us this year, will take a little break next year and work on um, putting its energy into its, its uh, branches and trunk 
Interesting. I highly recommend if you have the space in your yard and you have a good location, plant some fruit trees. You'll be you'll be just so delighted with the results. It's so fun. So fun starting with the blossoms in the spring to these beauties. These beauties. Uh, and they're delicious so good okay so thanks for joining me in my main gardens i'm deb and i appreciate you being here uh, if you like this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do also if you have any tips or comments about growing trees in uh, growing fruit trees in your yard love to hear them this, this is all about us sharing our lessons with each other so with that i'm going to check out and thank you for joining me in my main gardens and my main apple trees